Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here and welcome to our journey into WWE 2K19 as we're going to be kicking it off with 2K Showcase stuff, the Daniel Bryan Showcase. Of course, we're going to be doing my player, my career. We're going to be doing universe mode. We're going to be going through the ringer, 2K Towers. We got everything, man. But right now, we're going to be kicking it off with Showcase. I got some things I want to get done for my player before we get into it. Some things I need to do behind the scenes. Universe mode the same way. So I thought, you know what? It'd be a really good idea to kick it off with Showcase. So that's what we're going to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the mix here. And I had to turn off the menu music. Here we go. See, now the music's kicking in here. I had to turn off the menu music because it just completely triggers YouTube. And it just gives me all sorts of copyright issues. So I just said, okay, turn off the main menu music. I'm sure I'll get copyrighted for this too, but it is what it is at this point. The return of Daniel Bryan. If you guys are excited for 2K19, the showcase, whatever the case may be, if you just want to show your support, leaving a thumbs up is the perfect way to do that. Let's go ahead and get into the return of Daniel Bryan. I've never had it easy in WWE. I've had injuries. I was released twice, and just when I had scratched and clawed my way to the top, my in-ring career was over. I could have sat at home, satisfied with what I accomplished, but I decided that's not how I wanted my story to end. I wanted to show myself, my family, and anyone who's gone through adversity in life that you need to take on whatever challenges you face and fight for your dreams. Well, we might as well get on the Daniel Bryan bandwagon. An actual babyface payoff in WWE? I know, isn't that crazy? One of the better moments in recent history. And now our first thing here in 2K Showcase is Daniel Bryan, or Bryan Danielson, versus Juan Cena. And it's from Velocity, February 8th, 2003. Whatever the case may be, I'm happy that the Velocity Arena is in the mix this year once again. Now let's, uh, let's see, what can we do? Options, we can mess with this. A legend difficulty, of course, subtitles, blood. You know, we know what we do around here. So let's go ahead and kick it off and get into this. Right after I graduated high school, I moved from Washington down to Texas to train at Shawn Michaels School. It wasn't too long after that that I was signed by WWE. When I first got signed by WWE in 2000, I had no idea really what to expect. Most of the guys on TV had been wrestling for years and years, and at that point I'd only been wrestling for six months. Since I was still really new to all this, I was sent to hone my craft at WWE's developmental territory which at the time was in Memphis. Luckily, William Regal was a trainer there and he helped me out a lot. So with the WWE contract and Hall of Fame trainers, Brian Danielson was on the fast track to success, right? No, not quite. I was released in 2001, the first time I was released by WWE. It was really hard actually because I really didn't know what to do. William Regal told me this is a chance to learn. This is a chance to go travel the world Find who you are as a wrestler and find who you are as a person. So I went back to the Indies and touring in Japan. But soon after that, in 2003, Brian Danielson made his triumphant return to WWE. Well, sort of. Brian Danielson from Aberdeen, Washington. I returned for some one off matches on WWE's weekend shows Sunday Night Heat and Velocity. I like this tour. Look at that. Nice monkey flip. Well, you know, this Brian Danielson is a very accomplished young man. We've seen him in the past, and he's very, very good. I didn't really have a goal other than it was good exposure on TV. And one of these matches happened to be against a young up-and-comer named John Cena. Surely, this would be my big break, right? Oh, we jump right into the match. Okay. Showcase objectives checklist for help on completing objectives. Go to the... Okay, so just pause. Perform a limb target attack from a standing grapple on John Cena's arm. Yellow Pants well, Canary everybody. John Jody, Cena. Jody, Jody Whoa, now, big fella. Michael My man's backing Cody up. I forgot on Legend they do that. I don't we think so, buddy. Let's see if we can hit him with a running grapple. That ah, didn't work. <laughs> oh! Okay, at least we got the strike speed, so that's going to work out really well. But what's not going to turn out very well here? Wait, it's so weird. 
<laughs> it's so weird hearing them talk on commentary. He's going to win with Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's been the big dog pretty much the entire time he's been in the WWE. Cena's playing me like a fiddle right now. Taking all my reversal stocks. And I guess he's down to a couple too. I didn't even realize that he was down any. But I guess he had to be to get those moves on me. What's up, buddy? All right, let me test something real quick. Okay. <laughs> I was going to test and see if it still allowed me to kick them as much as I could on the ground. I didn't know if there was like a that three kick, four kick stand up thing. I just wanted to make sure. Let's see. John, if you don't come here. Two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. All right, let's see. I'm going to take that arm, John. It's coming on with me. Perform a grapple at the head of a grounded John Cena. Okay. Whoa, now, big fella. Drive him head first in the mat, and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab that noggin. We go into a cutscene. Control of Cena, right back to the arm. Great strategy, weaken the poor, powerful Cena by taking away one of his arms. Ryan sticking to his wheelhouse, not taking any unnecessary risks here against John Cena. Oh, just looking to control and neutralize the bigger man. Cena though back to his feet, and Brian continues to work on the arm. But now Cena, test of strength, and you don't want to get into a power battle with John. Absolutely not. Cover here, and a kick out. What? And again, Cena powering Danielson down. <laughs> Look at this incredible core strength by Danielson. Cena cannot believe that he can't get Danielson's shoulders on the mat. Gonna try it again, and Danielson able to come oh, 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 and send Cena flying. Incredible sequence. Oh, oh man, Cena just took Danielson's head off. We say that sometimes there's no replacement for brute force. It's well, that was definitely an a early 2000s wrestling sequence, I'll tell you that much. Oh, wait a minute, I don't have... Did that ca What? Oh, hold on now, Jethro. We have to damage him, so I guess that bar up there, that white bar is the damage we gotta do? I'm, uh... I can't do anything because he did a major reversal or something of that sort. So I'll wait for him to beat my buns, and then I will... Oh, okay, he's gonna go for a... Oh, come on now, rep. Come, come on now. Those fingertips, ref. Not yet. Ooh, I'm gonna have to get used to this. I ain't played 2K in just a little. Oh, I forgot. Oh, John, go away, go away, go away. I forgot this year that if you roll out of the ring, it does the debuff, and then it takes away a reversal stock. I totally forgot that. Okay, we have to keep that in mind for this year because uh, that's new. Can't spam that no more. Did he use a major reversal? Again? On top of my already nice major reversal? Oh my goodness! Well, <laughs> oh, I was hoping I could do my payback. Because John Cena is kicking my buns here, right now. Hold on now. Do I have like a kip up or something? Is that what that is? Well, whatever it is, John's not going to let me do it, so. Oh, oh, we're down to one knee? That was pretty neat. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I was so close. He's left wide Woo! Open here. See ya. Oh, we didn't go off out of the ring? He looks dazed. Go out of the ring, John. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the He's going to go down. Stand up, John. Where are you going? Why, why was he walking towards the road? He said, I want to get out of here, man. I got to go. Boom, baby. <laughs> Daniel Bryan in his house. Oh, we ain't done yet. Woo! Now, Daniel Bryan didn't exactly do this till, uh, you know, nowadays, but hey, we'll figure something out. The trifecta of suicide dives. We did it, people. Yeah, John, you like that, don't you? I'm getting back in the ring. So I have my payback. John Cena almost has his payback. I don't know what mine is. I could probably check it, but I'm okay right now. I have to damage him in the ring, too. So, like, I was completely damaging him outside the ring, not doing anything towards the objective. Oh, well, that was a lot of damage. Well, what's his signature? I'm just going to assume it's the diving headbutt. It's not. Whatever. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Oh, man, what the start? What are you doing, John? Oh, wait a minute. He's got a signature? Whoa, now. Woo! Hit that fleshed out DDT. Uh-oh. Oh, does he have... Oh, he didn't have finisher. Ow. 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 Is my eye, like... Do you see my eye? It's all red. No. What, where are we going? 
Oh, I love the I love that animation right over the ropes there. That was pretty neat. All right, uh, announcers, you might want to get out of the way. John has lost his marbles apparently. Drop this man this put on a drop kick. You know what, John? Do whatever you want, man. I'm not gonna stop you. Oh, he does have signature. Ring. I'm gonna wait until I get my reversal stop. Okay, I'm gonna do my. Okay, how do I do my? Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, got you again, John. Boom, baby! Perform a strong strike at John Cena's head while he's face up. Okay, like on the ground. A strong strike on the when he's heads. I don't. Okay. Well, we'll try, whatever the case may be, John. Whenever you want to get back in the ring, come mess with the real man. All right, there we go. I'm not so Send sure him flying. That type of impact. All right, we'll try a strong strike. Oh, John said, you ain't going to try nothing first off. Did I reverse it? Uh-oh. Whoa! How did I say that? Oh, we do reverse it. Okay, whatever the case may be, I'm going to do a strong strike here. He's nope, that won't it. So, Guys, there we go. Strong, strong strike here. John Cena here on yeah! Revenge, Michael. Cover him for the pin. Can do. That should do it right there. Do we need to win with the pin? Oh, no. Okay. Irish, they got a lot more objectives this time around. Irish whip John Cena into the corner. If you're Brian Danielson, what do you do at this point as he whips yeah. Cena across the ring? Oh, Cena gets up a boot just in time. And now John Cena looking to take over. Looking up, put oh. Brian Danielson where he wants him. And here's the cover. And he got him. Cena with the win over Brian Danielson. Here is your winner, John Cena. Valiant effort Cena. by Danielson, but Cena was just too much tonight. Hey, the random power bomb. Victory tonight for Cena. Got to be impressed. We're life, tonight. baby, yeah. You already know. I love it. Basic thugonomics, man. It's basic thugonomics. That's incredible. We got our very first trophy, people. Trophy earned first step. And now we have a match versus Chris Jericho, huh? Well, I think we'll save that. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let's go through with it, man. Let's go through with it. Chris Jericho, NXT, Daniel Bryan with the Miz. Look at the Miz in the little suit. Look at the little thing down there. That little, I don't even know what you call that. Was this back when you were doing the dirt sheet? Was this his gimmick back then? I guess we'll see. Let's head into it. A lot of guys would have parlayed competitive matches on heat and velocity into being signed full-time to WWE. But that's not how things turned out. It's like my wife Bree likes to say. If anything was easy for me, I wouldn't be Daniel Bryan. But before I could become Daniel Bryan, I was Bryan Danielson. And as Brian Danielson, I went on quite the run through the Indies. Over the course of seven years, I won my first world championship and had some amazing matches against guys who went on to become major WWE superstars. Guys like Seth Rollins, Cesaro, all sorts of guys all over the place. A lot of hardcore fans even say these were some of the best matches of my career. Personally, I credit these matches and opponents for helping me build the foundation I would later need to make it as a WWE superstar. Fans on the indie scene weren't the only ones who took notice, because in 2010, WWE re-signed me and Daniel Bryan was officially born. My name is Daniel Bryan. I've been wrestling all over the world, and finally, finally, I have an opportunity here in the WWE. Although much like childbirth, as I've heard from my wife, this was also a somewhat painful experience. I came back as part of NXT, which wasn't like the NXT that you know and love today. At the time, NXT was a reality show with rookies and pro mentors. Unfortunately, my pro was The Miz. People say that you're great, that you're a star, that you're ready for the WWE. Do you think you're ready? Yes, yes I do. Well, one thing you have to learn about the WWE is you have to expect anything. I guess the Miz is mine, beating a little bit of respect into his NXT rookie. Believe it or not, we didn't get along very well back then either. I think the most ridiculous thing we had to do in NXT was the obstacle course. Okay, so you're going to do the monkey bars. Then we go in the ring and juggle. Juggle. 
then you're gonna see how fast you can drink soda. Side note, it was actually supposed to be a hot dog eating contest. When they realized I was vegan and they didn't have any vegan hot dogs, they turned it into a soda drinking contest. I didn't know vegans could drink soda. Not drink at all. I hadn't drank any soda in years. Think, watching that on TV, a grown man just drinking soda from a cup. That's it. Despite that, I did have the tremendous opportunity to show the WWE Universe what I was capable of when I got to face the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. I loved watching Chris Jericho from the time I was in high school. The stuff that he did in WCW, being able to go against the world champion on NXT on the first show, win, lose, or draw, that elevates you. And I was very thankful for that opportunity. I don't know, man. The soda drinking contest sounds a little more entertaining than half the stuff on Raw nowadays. I think they should bring that back. The vegan soda drinking contest. I'd be okay with that. We got our new, sells new attire here. We got the Miz out there in the gimmick. We got Chris Jericho in the mix. I mean, I'm okay with the monkey bars. If we want to bring the monkey bar soda drinking challenge back, that doesn't sound awful. Also, did we realize the Ring of Honor content? They just threw that in there. Now Chris Jericho is going to beat the brakes off me. Just kidding. Oh, no, we have to do a standing strong strike in front of Jericho when he's in the ring. So I'll wait for him to get back in the ring, and then I'll pop him. Bop. Yeah, I'm Daniel Bryan. Perform a running strike. Okay. So I just stand over here by the ropes. But if you turn around, yeah, that didn't work. What was that? Okay, that didn't work at all. I'm going to keep that one in the back pocket, I guess, because that, whatever the case may be on that one, was not very fun. Well, maybe for Chris Jericho, he did a little leaping thing in my bobber, so that worked. All right, here we go. Whee! He's just playing classic offense here. All right, Miss, I see you over there, buddy. Perform a running strike in the corner. The corner. Okay, so we had to put him in the corner. Here I come. I am sitting on. Vicious elbow. Now what? Oh, now we just did. Okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh! the ring. No, dude, no! You're supposed to protect me on things like that, Chris. Nah, I'm out. Hey, buddy. Across the face. There Boy, we go. Send him flying a little bit. We really like that suplex. We go for it quite a lot. Oh, big German. Yeah. Ain't nothing like some good old suplexes. Here we go. Another German. Oh, we taking Chris Jericho to Suplex City. Then there ain't no boats out here, Chris. Well, you don't become a star oh, wait a minute, he got the reversal. Well, that was pretty quick. Brian that animation. With a better catchphrase than the Miz, Did we get... Oh, nice. Is not awesome. Daniel oh, here we go. Dragon corkscrew. Old school Tanahashi stuff here. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive I love the shot. new strikes. Oh, he's such a tough target. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> toe -to -toe with anybody. Okay. Cover him for the pin? Okay, can do. Hey, Miz, what do you think about this, buddy? With your little tie. Your little baby tie. Oh, we got to do it. Wait, another standing strong strike? Uh-oh. Not into the corner, Chris. There ain't nothing over here for you. Whatever you thought. Oh, I don't want to do the escape. Keep that in mind. Don't want to do the escape because we lose the gimmick. No, no, no. There we go. Nice. Hit him in the face. Oh, that kick just floored Chris. That little baby man kicking my man got just taken out back. There's no way that Jericho's going to lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Jericho, though, needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. Wise maneuver from a wily veteran. I'm not sure if Jericho's going to get much Oh, is this the one where he eats the... Desk himself. I don't think Miz liked the fact that Brian threw his body in harm's way, and I, I can't say I blame him. What's this guy thinking? The Miz is like, that's exactly why I don't do any of that. Wait, sit from the apron to the ring? So wait, do we need to get in the ring? Oh, wait. Oh, I think that was a bonus objective to Irish with him back Literally in the ring, ringside. and I think I just failed. Just or maybe it just, he needed to get back in the ring. I don't know. One of the two. 
Okay, so if I... He's a little close. I agree. Maybe after Jericho finishes his beating, Brian will finally listen Maybe I'll do it from over here. All right, let's see. Stand up. Here we go. Guys, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, no. Some sort of oh, boy. See, I told you. Oh, boy. This one's over now. Roll him into the walls of Jericho. Tap him out, Chris. Ryan's trying to fight it. Rolls through. What a counter by the technician there. Oh, my oh, my God. God. Oh, Here, Hook is in. Jericho's in trouble. Jericho oh, tried it. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? He may have no choice. He made, he made it to the bottom rope. They got the Jericho sound effects. You have got to be impressed, Michael, from what we're seeing from Daniel Bryan. Did Daniel, he win yet, Byron? Daniel Bryan thinks he... Oh! Oh, breaker! You can't allow a veteran like Jericho any time to recover. You're right, Corey. That was a rookie move. And now he's going to pay for it, Byron. That may, very well may be the case, Michael. This loser's going to lose again. Oh, oh the lion tamer. tamer. Can Bryan hold on? Tap out! your wish, Cole. Daniel Bryan fought valiantly, but just couldn't the hang with a champ. Yeah, this Chris time, Jericho. experience was just too much for Daniel Bryan. And listen, Miz has got to be so disappointed, and I don't blame him. Luck of the draw, Miz got this loser to be his protege, and now Miz a little bit of tough whoa, whoa, love here. Whoa, tough love? Give me a break. Hey, tough love. This is ridiculous. Miz is obviously frustrated with his star pupil. Oh, yeah, so you're frustrated, so that's okay. Now you can beat him up? Yeah, start winning some matches, then he won't get beat up anymore. This is ridiculous. What disrespect me? Huh? I'm a champion. Miz has lost his mind. I said we get back up and beat his buns. Again. Yeah, with that haircut. Yo, look at all this content we're unlocking. There's so much content. And now, next up, we go to The Miz versus Daniel Bryan for the United States Championship at Night of Champions. Looks like there's four, I can't even talk no more, four big ones <laughs> on the board for us. Oh, we even got a little video library, but I think that's enough for this episode. On the next one, we will return with more of the goody stuff here. Look at this man, Daniel Bryan's haircut. It's almost got that Tyler Bate thing going on there. If you guys did enjoy, remember to leave that thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody goody. And I will see you guys next time. See you.